I proposed to my GF and she rejected my proposal and broke up with me. I proposed to my GF, let's call her Sarah, six days ago, and she rejected my proposal and broke up with me due to my illness. I suffer of alexithymia, which means that I hardly recognize my and others emptions, and this is a hard obstacle for my life, work, and my relationships with others. I have been with Sarah for eight years and we was living target her for three years and everything was fine because I thought that with her help too I was getting over my illness and living a normal life. I came from a wealthy family, my family is the owner of a petrol company since generations, and so money was never a problem for me and my parents are super protective and very understanding of me and my illness. They did their best to make me always happy and made me a secure man even despite my illness. And so they wanted that my GF and potential wife was like them. And Sarah was loved by family because she was like them and always treated me good. But when I proposed to her, after living target her for three years, she rejected me saying that my illness is too hard to accept and that starting a life with me means starting a life with my illness and she wasn't ready to do that. She also told me that I will find another girl that was right for me but she wasn't feeling ready for this big step because she is young and wants to live her life in full. I can't blame her for her choice but why breaking up with me? We could just remain BF and GF like before and wait to marriage. Now I don't know what to do. Will I ever find a girl that sees me before my illness or my money? Any advice is welcome. Edit. Thanks to you all guys for your advices and understanding. I appreciate it very much. From your comments it seems like I became addicted to her and relate on her but it's not like that. I go to the psychologist since I'm a kid. She was going with me on some of my therapy session because my psychologist said that it would be a good thing for both. And that's it. Comment. We could just remain boyfriend and girlfriend like before and wait to get married. Up, Sarah may have realized she isn't interested in marrying you and she might have been thinking about leaving this relationship for a while. This might have been the push she needed. I'm so sorry you suffer from this condition, but I think it's important to view it from her perspective too. It would be incredibly challenging building a relationship and marriage with someone who can't read your emotions. I thought that with her help too I was getting over my illness and living a normal life. This makes me wonder whether she felt she was playing the role of partner or carer. What external support were you getting? It's really important that we don't rely solely on our partners for things like this. Will I ever find a girl that sees me before my illness or my money? Your illness is ultimately going to be very, very visible. It's a part of you. You'll find people who accept it and love you regardless, but you'll also find people who struggle with it. It's not about them not seeing you first, it's just about the reality of how much of a role your illness would play in a relationship. I've read a bit about alexithymia, and even after a quick glance, it sounds like it's very difficult to be your significant other. And communication is just one thing, judging by a comment, she seemed to be involved in your therapy, which sure is a big responsibility. To me, it looks like she has been thinking about breaking up for a while. When you proposed, she couldn't postpone it any longer. Up, she broke up with you. You can't go back to being girlfriend and boyfriend. Just let her go. I'm sorry. I am sorry Up. I guess why she broke up with you is because once you proposed she was really faced with the reality of the relationship and faced the difficult decision of what the future would look like, and hence broke up with you because she doesn't see one. Two people can't be in a relationship as before after a proposal, because things will never be the same tbh. And your ex realized it won't change with you either, so she better spend that time finding someone else than being in a relationship with you. I know it must be hard right now, but you will get through this. And you will find someone who loves you, trust me. It seems like she was probably thinking about this for a while. She could have been thinking about breaking up with you and the proposal just set it in stone for her. Made her realize it wasn't what she wanted. So maybe to you it seemed sudden, but to her she had been processing for a long time. And also, 
she probably didn't realize how much it would affect her being with you until you moved in together. Next story 2. My boyfriend called me materialistic for picking out an engagement ring with a big rock for show after he told me to choose the ring myself. Me and my boyfriend are planning to get married next year. We have been together for two years now. So about last week, I had asked him, would you like to pick out an engagement ring out on your own, or would you like me to pick it out on my own, we have spoken about something like this before, and we are open about these things. So he told me he would rather I pick out what I liked. However, I understand that he is on a tight budget as he is paying off some school debts. Hence, I chose to put Mishf in his shoes, and we went together to a low budget store that had lab grown diamonds. So I start looking around and picking out rings, and trying them on, and I don't even look for the big diamonds mind you, I have small hands and don't want anything too big. I was looking into the range of 0.5 carat, 1 carat rings. The most expensive one I found was about $200, $300, which I thought is really affordable. I asked my boyfriend for advice, and I was really excited about this moment because I'm so excited to get married. But he tells me these designs are impractical and will get stuck in your clothing and all. He says that about all things though, he generally dislikes jewelry. But the designs I picked out were classic, so I know they're comfortable for me. So, I ignore that. I ask him to help me look for designs that catch his eye, he starts acting weird. It starts affecting my mood as well. Then when I show him my option of 0.75 carat, he calls me materialistic and that I'm doing everything for show and I should stop falling for the female ring trap to which I get really mad at. I was picking out designs I liked, not because I'm showing anybody. Not because I want to show off. I start crying and leave. I'm explaining to him that what he did hurt me and he shouldn't have said that, considering the fact that I tried to follow his budget. He stands firm on his point. If I was materialistic, wouldn't I bring him to an expensive store and demand a lot more? This whole situation made me question a lot of things about him. I don't know when I'll feel better about what he said and I'm not even in the mood to go ring shopping anymore. How should I approach this topic with him so that he understands that this hurt me truly? It seems he doesn't understand what I'm explaining to him. TLDR, boyfriend told me to pick my own ring, so I brought him to a low budget store due to his school debts, tried being as considerate as possible. I picked out a ring that cost max $200 to $300 with about 0.75 carat, lab grown diamond, to which he called me materialistic and I left crying. Now I have no mood to go ring shopping because of how he sees the situation and don't know how to tell him how he truly hurt me so he'd understand. Edit, people are talking way too much about the ring price than the situation on how to resolve it, sad face, the ring I picked out was approximate $200 to $300, but I didn't get much info on it as I left quick and mad. It might be that cheap as it's silver slash gold plated. I'm not sure. Gold slash platonic options would have been more expensive for sure. Comment. I'm upset because you're insulting me by calling me materialistic and telling me I'm more obsessed with image than what I personally like. Do you understand that's insulting to me? Are you saying these things to convince me to get an even cheaper ring? Also, I'm no expert, but I really really don't think you're looking at half carat diamond rings, even lab grown for $200. Then when I show him my option of 0.75 carat, he calls me materialistic and that I'm doing everything for show and I should stop falling for the female ring trap to which I get really mad at. I was picking out designs I liked, not because I'm showing anybody. Not because I want to show off. I start crying and leave. I'm explaining to him that what he did hurt me and he shouldn't have said that, considering the fact that I tried to follow his budget. He stands firm on his point. Did you ever see that reddit post about a guy who was calling his fiancée a gold digger and materialistic because she wanted a really cheap wedding dress, less than $500, and he demanded that she buy one for $10 on wish.com? 
your boyfriend reminds me of him. He's single now, and showed a lot more controlling behaviors once his fiancé had the audacity to demand to be respected. You are showing more consideration and care for his feelings than he seems willing to do for you. This should be a high point of your relationship. Even if your taste was more extravagant, the fact is you are being considerate about his budget shows you are not being a gold digger. He is behaving wrong. You also seem like you are more worried about locking him down to not end up like your sister, as opposed to finding someone who is a respectful and caring partner. No one talks about it, but the trick isn't getting married, it's picking the right partner so you end up staying married. If he wants you to go any lower on the price of the ring, you're going to have to start looking at ring pops. The fact that you showed so much consideration for his financial position is amazing, I hope he realizes that. Contrary to the other commenters, I wouldn't throw out the entire relationship over this you need to sit down and have a meaningful conversation about why he thinks this way and how his behavior made you feel. If he still. Unrelated side note, but are you sure you weren't looking at another kind of stone or something? I feel like even lab-grown diamonds wouldn't go for that little.